Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be, are men really supposed to be monogamous? Got an email here from a viewer. <laughs> he starts out, he says, Corey, I'm really fucked at this time. I've been spreading out my seeds just for training and to keep my self-esteem high. And now two girls want to give me themselves, asking me to date them. Here is the problem. I'm married. For those girls, no problems. That is just for fun. But for me, it's a problem. You think? Really, I love my wife and I respect her a lot. It's just that you want to sleep with other women, obviously. That is the reason I have not get, gotten them yet. However, it's very hard to imagine having sex with the same woman for my whole life. What would you get married for then, dude? It's kind of like getting into it. That's usually what's expected. Now, call me crazy, but... The whole purpose, you know, the little band, the little circle, it's your commitment to each other, your undying love, it never ends, that kind of thing. You know, because that is my intention in my marriage, is to have, have sex with... Well, if it's your intention, then why are you writing me about these other chicks? It's like, you basically, you're writing me, you want me to give you permission to cheat on your wife, is what it sounds like. He says, I would like to fuck one of those girls for sport. In addition, I don't know if it's cultural... But for us Latin people, it's almost a sin to refuse a pussy shining. I don't think I've heard that analogy of pussy shining, Puss, pussy shining before. Even my grandpa told me the other day, I could just imagine, don't leave those opportunities passing. Oh, he says, don't leave those opportunities passing or I will probably regret it in the future. He thinks I'm immature when I do disagree with him at that point. <laughs> That's hilarious. So you got your grandfather just, ah, oh, fucking, you should hit that dude. <laughs> That's an interesting conversation. I'd love to be a fly on the wall. He says, when me and my wife have not engaged, I jump the fence. I've never done it after the marriage. On that time, I have no problems because I became a better boyfriend and more enthusiastic lover at the end of the day. Are men or humans monogamous? Is there any problem for happiness if things run still in secret, no offenses or exposure. How can it be unhealthy? In other words, you're trying to say, hey, how can it be bad for my marriage if I'm just fucking banging random girls for sport? You know, it can't be a problem. Well, it might be a problem with your wife, but, I mean, here's the deal. The purpose of all relationships is you go there to give. You're there to help each other grow and become more. You're there to meet, meet each other's needs. To fulfill each other emotionally, spiritually, sexually, in every way, you're supposed to be there to fulfill each other. You're there to help, to fulfill fill each other in every way possible. It's to help each other become a better human being, become become more comfortable in your own skin than you've ever been. And so, what's happening is there's something going on between you and your wife, obviously, where you just ain't feeling it. In other words, she's not, there's something that's missing. Either she's not sexually appealing to you enough or she's not flirtatious enough. Maybe she doesn't initiate sex enough. There's something going on in your relationship that she's not doing that you want her to do and vice versa. And the problem is, is that maybe you don't know how to go about asking for it, but a, a good thing to do when you're in a relationship is just to get together once a week when you're maybe... Sunday when you're reading the, reading the news or you're just sitting around having your breakfast together and you just say, honey, on a scale of 1 to 10, how was I as a boyfriend this week? Or how, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate me as a husband this week? And so if she says, on a scale of 1 to 10, you were a 7, instead of getting butt hurt and bent out of shape and pissed off about it, you say, okay, well, if I was a 7 this past week, what would I have done differently in order for you to have said, oh, you were a fucking 10, dude. And let her tell you. And do the same thing with her. you got to ask your wife for what it is that you want. If she's not fulfilling you sexually, which is obviously why you're looking outside the marriage to fulfillment, and yet it doesn't sound like you've cheated yet, but you're obviously considering it, and you got a family member who's a lot older and has a lot of experience saying you should just go for it, basically. And my point being is that if you're going to have sex outside the marriage, then why are you married in the first place? 
Maybe you, an open relationship is the best thing for you, or maybe you should have stayed single. But just like you said, you love your wife and you really care about her, and so, but it's obvious that she's not fulfilling you sexually. And so you need to tell her what it is you want her to do. Maybe it's dress hotter. Maybe it's dress sexier. Maybe wear different clothes. Maybe start going to the gym, wear her hair longer, or wear those kind of particular outfits that you like. Because what happens when two people get into a long-term relationship, you start living under the same roof together, you become lazy, you become complacent, you get caught up in life, you get caught up with your career, your business, your goals, your friends, or whatever it happens to be, and you each stop doing the things that really attracted you and drew you to one another when you first got together. And so that, you got to think about it. What is it that you miss? What is it that she's no longer doing that she used to do that used to cause you in the past to not give a shit about these other women that you're hanging out and talking to or chatting with and ask her to start doing those things for you again maybe she's she's not in as great a shape as she once was when you first got married and then you both joined the gym together the idea is that jim Rowan has a quote that i love he says i'll take care of you or he says i'll take care of me for you and i'll take care and you take care of you for me in other words, I'm going to focus on being at my best. I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to be in great shape. I'm going to look good. I'm going to do my part in the relationship. Take care of my own shit, basically, in order to make you happy. Because I can't make you happy if I'm not taking care of my own shit and making myself happy. And vice versa. She has to focus on herself and taking care of herself and looking good and making herself happy. Because you can't give away to another human being what you don't have for yourself. If you don't have love for yourself, if you're not happy, if you're not already fulfilled, it's going to be very hard for you long term to give at the level that you need to give in order to keep the relationship exciting, to keep it fun. I mean, maybe when you come home from work and you sit down on the couch or your chair or wherever you sit down, maybe you want your wife to come home and bring you a beer and then pull your pants down and give you a blowjob. If that's what you want, ask her for it. Tell her, I would love it. I would love if you'd start doing those kinds of things again. I really miss that. Because if you were fulfilled in your relationship sexually then you wouldn't you wouldn't fucking give the time of day to any of these other other women i know like when i'm in an exclusive relationship i don't get into long-term relationships unless i'm crazy about the girl i mean what my girlfriends when i'm walking around i always think i'm with the hottest fucking girl on the planet i feel that way i don't feel any desire to be with another woman because i know that the girl i'm with is very fucking special because i'm picky as fuck i don't date just an average good-looking girl I want a girl that's a successful high achiever just like myself. I want somebody that inspires me also. Someone that's so amazing that I want to be a better man just because she inspires me to be better and vice versa. I want her to feel like she can be a better woman because I inspire her as a man because I take care of myself or I go to the gym or I work out or I eat healthy or I do the things that I need to do in order to be at my best personally. And the best thing that you can do for your marriage is to take care of yourself, but also communicate in a way to your wife that lets her know what it is that you want or that you expect from your, her. I mean, what about when you guys are having sex? Have you ever asked your wife, what do you like? What do you want me to do to you? What would you like me to do to you? What are your fantasies? It's amazing how many couples never ask though that simple question of each other. Just that little simple question will make a world a difference because the quality of your relationship is going to be in direct proportion to the quality of the questions that you consistently ask each other. That's something to think about. So if you've got a question you want to ask me, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab, which will be on the left-hand side of your screen, and send me one to two paragraphs max, and just give me several days to get back to you with a response. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. You can do that by going to my website, click the Products tab, which will be at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook, on my website, underneath the email sign up box, is a box that has a link that will take you right to the Amazon Kindle download page. Once you get there, if you don't have a Kindle device, on the right hand side, there's a button you can click to download a free e reader app for your smartphone, tablet device, or your computer. It only takes a matter of seconds to download and install the app and complete the purchase of my book. And if you appreciate the value of the information I offer in these video newsletters and in my articles and my ebook, you could show your appreciation by going to my website 
And on the Wibia toolbar, which will be at the bottom of your screen, click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. And I will talk to you soon.